Hi, I'm Lynn, the creator of Dearly Loved, a place for faith, family, fun, and a whole lot of Disney. Thanks for joining me today on Dearly Diary, where I want to bring you a public service announcement. Being bored is great. Being bored is cool. Being bored can even be biblical. What am I talking about? Well, I was thinking how much I, I hate it when my kids will come to me and they'll say, I'm bored. You know what I say to them? Good. Being bored can have so many constructive outcomes. Being bored can create creativity if we know how to constructively be bored. And I think today in our society, we've desensitized ourselves to boredom or we fear boredom or we feel very uncomfortable in any of our downtime. We are living at such a heightened state of stimulation and activity and expectations that really we need signs in drive throughs now telling us to turn off our cell phones. Do you know this isn't a pacemaker? You don't have to answer this as soon as it beeps, burps, hoops, toots, whatever it does. You don't have to answer it. How many conversations have you been in with somebody and maybe you're really pouring your heart out and they keep checking their cell phone to see who's texted them or who's calling? Very rarely are those things emergencies. And we've really lost the art of being in relationship with people because we're too busy being distracted by all of the technology around us, by all of the gadgets around us. And so I'm here to tell you, go ahead, step out on that ledge, try boredom for a change. Sometimes it's in those moments that we have our, our, the most clarity that we've had in a while, that we can bear fruit, that we're supposed to be bringing into our lives and the lives of others. It's only in learning how to be still, to rest, to have that downtime that we're able to fully become the people that we're supposed to be. I mean, my goodness, even God set up a rest day for us. And I'm just as guilty of this. On our recent trip to Disney World, I bought this guy things to do in line. You know, what was I worried about? That my kids would be bored in line at Disney World? They were at Disney World! Good, be bored in line. And truth be told, we didn't have to use this. We didn't uh, end up waiting in a lot of lines. And because of our society today, Disney's built-in entertainment, even in the lines. This is what I'm talking about. We're really losing the art of just being okay with nothing to do. When I was little, I remember, and it would annoy me, my grandma would say, be still. And as a kid, you don't grasp the importance of that or even really what that means. But now it's very dear to me, thinking of her voice saying, be still, just settle down. It's okay. And God tells us this. Uh, if we read in Psalm, let's see here, 4610, he tells us, be still and know that I am God. He could have just said, hey, I'm God. He didn't have to preface it with, be still. I think it's only in being still, quieting ourselves, that we can fully appreciate who God is and what he can do and bring into our lives. So I just wanted to give you that today. Again, public service announcement, be the cool one and be bored for a change. I think that's all I have for now. Until next time, bye-bye, and I'll see you real soon.